Hey everybody, it's Martha, your resident idol singer, coach, and your trashy godparent. I am so happy to be back here on my gaming and pop culture channel. After a bit of a hiatus, I am slowly getting back into creating content for this channel. I missed you a lot, my my lovely Marth Mellows here on my, my gaming channel. Uh, if you missed me and you didn't, keep up with all of my musical and coaching endeavors, go ahead and check out my music channel, youtube.com slash Martha Music. There's plenty of videos there for you to peruse. Uh, and if you're not a part of the Marshmallow Discord server, that is linked in the description box below. Even if I'm not exactly consistent here on YouTube, you will be able to talk to me there and with everybody else about all of the trash that we love. So today we are jumping into another demo for an indie game. And um, I actually didn't go searching for this one, the, the game dev followed me on Twitter and I was like, am I reading this right? Am I reading this right, snails? Like, beep, 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 snails. But, um, we've done birds, we've done horses, we've done cats. <laughs> Might as well do snails, right? So, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and jump into the demo of Snail Story. So, let's pull that up, shall we? Okay. Here we are, Snail Story Love Edition. Honestly, the logo is adorable. I look at it. It's so cute. The little like antennas on the S. And we've got some slime down here. Uh, if y'all were here in my early YouTube days when I was trying to be a beauty guru and doing skincare, y'all know that I love the Cosrx snail essence i still use that shit i still have it in my bathroom it is great snails are good little good little slimy things so i guess we're gonna play a game about them today uh i really don't know much about this game i think i watched the trailer when the dev first follow me on twitter like a month ago um so like i don't know but it's it's left my brain because i've been so busy so Oh no, she's so cute. I was about to say, I'm going in blind, but she's adorable. I love, oh, she's got a crack in her shell. What happened? And then we've got her little, I love the way that they made the little like snail body look like a dress. That's really cute. What is your name? I need to get that little names in the hat thing on Patreon. Let's call her Giselle. I've been on an Espa kick as far as K-pop goes, and uh, in another video that's coming soon, I named one of my characters Karina, and then so this is this is Giselle. She looks like a Giselle. She's cute. Okay, Giselle Newt, part of the Newt clan. <laughs> All right, one year ago, <gasps> boop, Giselle Escort. <laughs> I hate it here. Uh, D Daisy? Daisy! I've looked everywhere for you. She's left me. My caretaker is missing. She was my only family. Wait, so are these snails, like, are they, like, owned by actual people? <laughs> Small snail! All she gave me was a slip of paper before she disappeared. Daisy! A passing snail person gives me a weird look. This is cute. Shouting isn't going to bring her back. Also, why is everything covered in, like, moss? Slime? I don't know. I'm all alone in this town now that Daisy is gone. Why? Why did she leave me? She was the only person I could talk to. I don't want to be here anymore. Mood. <laughs> Daily mood. Don't you ever wish you could be born as someone something else? Someone other than a snail person? In a not so far away land, there exists a town of snail people. We've we've gone back to narrator mode. They identify themselves as snails, living life separate from the humans. Okay, so they're not like 
I keep doing this. They're not owned by people. So I wonder who Daisy is. Together they call their birthplace Shelltown. It is a merry, peaceful place. At least on the surface. Our protagonist doesn't believe she belongs with her kind. Okay. She wants to be with the humans. In her quest to leave, she'll discover more about herself and the town. She'll find out that sometimes it's better to stay in your shell. Ha! I don't know about that. I don't know. All right. Let's see. Snail story. Love edition. What other editions are there? Okay. Hefe was born and raised amongst shell folk. No one knows why he's good at Spanish. I mean, was there another... I don't know who Hefe is. I think he's one of the, the options. I also love that name, Hefe. 2021 Mollusk High graduation. Class of 2021. Today is when I, Giselle Escargo, graduate from my school, Mollusk High. Why does everybody have to be in high school? I am a grown-ass lady, and here I am playing... Um, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I wish Daisy could have been here, but it's a, it's been a year and she hasn't showed. Is she dead? Bro, who knows? Okay. I've done my best to manage without her. Sucking in a deep breath, I glance at the entrance of the school. I've crawled through its hallways for four years, so I'm... <laughs> So I'm happy that I'm finally going to be freed from the tortures of a painfully slow. How many fucking speed puns or speed jokes are we going to get in this game? We're going to tally them. Ding, that's one. A painfully slow school curriculum. Living with other snails was not an enjoyable experience for me. You can say that my time went by at... Don't do it. Don't do it. A snail's face. That's two already. Uh. Oh. Oh, why did we have to hear that? Ooh, that's kind of icky. I enter through the gates, moving into the main courtyard where Dr. Schneil will give an important graduation speech. We'll say sound design so far, like even if that sound was icky, they're doing the damn thing. I slime forward, ignoring the need to tuck into my shell. I hate crowds. Dr. Schneil is about to speak by the time I arrive. The students are huddled around him as he situates himself behind a podium to address us. He's the governor of our small, humble town. Most shell folk agree that he's a great leader, ruling with both fine judgment and love. The man has enough charisma to make us snail people both cower and warm in our shells. His presence is larger than life despite his mollusk form, worthy of every snail citizen's respect. I don't love him as much as other shell folk do. I can't explain why. I just don't. He exudes an aura of confidence with his spiky purple shell. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> what, what, what voice shall I give him? Let's see. Attention, my leaf-loving students! The crowd hushes the moment he shows up behind the podium. He does have a fancy shell. Look at that. Wow. First off, I'd like to extend my congratulations to this cohort. Today marks something eventful in your gastropod lives. You must be excited to start your snail journey. There are many interesting careers for young shell folk like you to pursue. You can work in the factories responsible for creating mulch and compost. A bright, inspired caring soul can also join Snail Mastery University to pursue mollusk medicine. I'm going for German, but I'm not doing very well. <laughs> Bear with me. You can join the STPD and bring safety to your fellow citizens. Etc. 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 The possibilities are endless. 
a snail can achieve if he or she believes. I slime forward. Yay! <sighs> Same, because the speech barely concerns me. Nobody... Did y'all pay attention at your commencement speeches? I can... Honestly, I can't really remember any of mine. <laughs> I already know what I want, and my goal has nothing to do with being a snail. Dr. Schneil continues talking about his contributions to Shelltown when... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, that was a lot. Hi, is this Hefe? <laughs> Why did they give him abs? Why did they give a snail abs? And like, not on his abdomen, but on his fucking... I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't do <laughs> I hate it here. And he's got a shell necklace. And he's already got a shell. And he's got a shell tattoo. This guy can't be in high school. He's, he's too... I can't... Alright. Suspension of... It's fucking snails, Martha. Don't think about it too hard. A man's shell knocks into mine. Oh, excuse me. The crowds here are tight, yes? Look at how cute he is! I'm gonna cry! He smiles at me. I can't help but notice his lovely barnacled shell. I do not think barnacles are lovely, Giselle. Ma'am. No. I need to busy to the front, so if you can make way, that will be nice. Uh... Okay. I inch my shoulder aside to give room to the handsome stranger as he pushes past me and through the crowd. Okay, bye. My feelers are sensing that I'll meet him more in the future, but that could just be my silly imagination. <laughs> Someone speaks from my side, his voice capturing my attention due to its charming tone. It must be nice to be graduating after all this time. Wait, is that a gun? What has he got? <laughs> Who is this guy? Uh, I, <laughs> I like his shell, though. I like the maroon. He's He's got his tie going with it. What contraptions are these? Are you a cop? I don't know about cops. Even snail cops. My gaze catches a familiar figure. Ah, he is a cop. That's the detective who comes to our school every so often. Why does he come to your school? What's going on? He's not talking to me, but... My jaw tenses when I realize who is next to him. Wow. Okay, why does every, like, mean girl design in Otome game, they always have this sort of, like, frilly blouse on? Is it just me? Or, like, they always have the fucking, like, this. Why? What about frilly blouses makes y'all think of mean people? Uh. Clarice Crawler. Crawler. Hmm. I don't really care. Will my dad hurry up with his speech? Ah. Seeing that slimy snail makes me feel like I'd just been salty. I decide that I don't like this spot and crawl forward, leaving behind the detective in his conversation. I like her hair, though. It's cute. Hmm. Once I find myself alone again, I return my attention to the speech our trusted leader is giving. You must all be twitching in your shells. Now the teachers will be giving you your graduation certificate soon after this. Once you leave this place, you'll no longer be a mere high school student. You'll be making important decisions. Where the fuck did that accent come from? I'm sorry. You'll be making important decisions for your future. Remember, all citizens of Shelltown must be useful and effective. Very German. <laughs> Each and every one of you is necessary in keeping our town running. We don't wish to be too slow and looked down upon by the humans, wouldn't you agree? 
I don't really care about how the humans see me. The snails of this town don't exactly think I'm awesome either. Not with my shell looking the way it is. All right then. I won't bore you by being too lengthy. I'll leave you before I dry you young ones out. May your remaining time in Shell Town be fruitful and exciting. And do be mindful of the ocean. Never try to cross it. She's gonna cross the ocean. That's what all protagonists do. They say no and they do it. He just had to add that last bit. Dr. Schneil likes to remind us about the repercussions of leaving this idyllic place. It's a common saying. Whoever is born in Shelltown dies in Shelltown. Why am I getting Wizard of Oz vibes from this? Like somewhere over the rainbow, off she goes. Dark, I know. But such is the fate of snails. The salt in the ocean would melt us anyway. Do boats not exist? What about the sailor snail? Oh well, we'll find out later. Dr. Schneil raises his hand, waving at us as he bellows out the last line of his speech. Good luck and do stay hopeful while beginning your next chapter. Hopeful. My life as a snail has hardly given me much hope. Not even words from our beloved leader can change how I'll feel about my future should I stay here. Whew, I've already decided that I'm not going to be a good snail citizen. One day I'll change myself enough to cross the ocean. After the graduation ceremony, I returned home and began filling out university applications. It's been one month since then. So far, none of the universities have gotten back to me. Another day in Shelltown. This is cute! I still don't know why everything is covered in moss. One more day of questioning my identity as a snail. When will I find the reason I need to get out of here? I'm getting nervous just thinking about it. Am I being too impatient? I'm worried none of those university applications I sent out will be successful. As I'm thinking, an unwelcome presence breaks me from my thoughts. Why are you rooming with her if you don't like her? I don't get it. Can you please stop crawling circles around the house? I hate that noise. I hate it so much. You're giving me a headache. Oh, looky. It's the daughter of Dr. Schneil. She barged in five minutes ago. Mmm... I'm just concerned. What's new? Please relax for just a moment. You're squelching. Context is very important here. You're squelching everywhere. It's so stressful that I think my feelers might dry out. I don't know why she's at my house if she's just going to be mean and judge me. Okay, so they're not roommates. Clarice, why are you here? How do I tell her she's not welcome? I have a feeling there might be a choice here. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. Why are you here? Don't you have better places to be? Of course I do. I'm the most popular girl in Shelltown. Oh, slippery soap. Isn't she great? Uh-huh. You live alone and you were never friends with anybody in school. I'm here to check on you. Is she really trying to act like a good gastropod? Even after what she's done? What did she do, Giselle? Tell us! Spill the tea! I don't believe she's here to simply check on my well-being. It's strange to be barging into someone else's home like that. She's probably here with some ploy to torment me. No, really. Please, just go. I'm all right. Sure, you're not. I don't think you are. You look pitiful, weak, sad. Sometimes all I can think about is stabbing Clarice's shell. 
Why did I let her into my house again? I'd rather have a screaming chicken as company. Chickens are terrifying to shell folk. I was about to say the chicken would eat you, but at least they don't make me question my self-worth. Listen, I didn't plan to have you around and I'm a busy snail. I fought to clean the house. I haven't mopped the slime off the floor in three days. I'm thankful for your um, kindness, but it'll be better if you leave. Leave? Oh, she's mad. That's no way to treat a well-meaning guest. I arrived five minutes ago. At least offer me some tea. Does she honestly think I'll offer tea to her? I just graduated high school and I'm saving up for something big. Tea is expensive for a broke snail person like me. You should have called to check if I'm available. Any considerate snail would have done so. But Clarice is too busy knocking her gaudy shell on everyone and everything. <sighs> Whatever. It's not nice to turn people away. Neither is barging into my home and demanding to be served. Oh, knock, knock, knock. She's cute when she doesn't look angry. Huh. A stranger at the door intrudes in our conversation. That's a relief. Well, go fetch the door. What should I do? Do as she says. Try and harden your shell to her. I mean, it is my house. Or, I guess if we are playing as Giselle, it's Giselle's house. So we gotta answer the door. You don't have to tell me to do something so simple. I'm giving friendly reminders. Gross. You should thank me. After all, you've tasted so much salt in this lifetime that you must be slower than the rest of us. Ouch. That comment stung. Even more so than the thought of salt. There's a mailman at my doorstep. A sack of letters hang around his shoulders and there's one in his hand. For you, ma'am. Ooh, this looks important. Thank you. I received the letter from him, suddenly nervous. It feels as if he's about to give me some life-changing news. <laughs> it's a visual novel. Of course it is. Uh, I hold my breath before looking down. <clears throat> my eyes widen at the seal that's on the envelope. There's a crimson M symbol on it. I've sent you a letter, Giselle. Here you go. I hear my heart thumping loudly in my chest. Have a good day, ma'am. Yeah, you too. I close the door on the mailman and slowly crawl back into the living room. My feelers soften, drooping downwards as the significance of this letter dawns on me. Here she comes. You look like someone just plucked you out of your shell. I shake my head at Clarice's comment. Not even she can ruin this moment. This is it. Marvard! Oh, Marvard! Marvard has sent me a letter. It took too long to arrive. The snail mail. Is that four? I think that's four snail jokes. The snail mail express is always lagging. I'm thinking they'd be more efficient if the mailman ran like humans do, but one can always dream. Well, what does the letter say? Explain yourself. What should I do? Be patient and explain nicely. Be aggressive and ask her to shut up. I don't know. She doesn't really have much, like, authority to tell me what to do, but, like, I feel like we could effectively call her stupid with this one. Because that's what I would do. Explain it like explaining to a toddler. I've been waiting a really long time for a letter from one of the Ivy League schools. Ivy League? Yes. Marvard, USLA, Danebridge. Danebridge. You've heard of them, right? Don't those schools belong to the humans? We have SMU here. Yes, the tiny, pathetic SMU. The students there are... slow, to say the least. Five! I thought I should try anyway. 
I don't want to say this, but Snail Mastery University is a terrible school. I bet the professors don't even understand the basics of human biology. Why would anyone want to know stuff about the humans? It's okay. You won't know. Anyway, I have to open this letter. I really hope they accept me. Good luck. I ignore the urge to roll my eyes at Clarice. Why is she here? I still don't know what... I... Okay. Inhaling sharply, I peel the seal off the letter. The bottom of my foot. Foot? Is that what the little thing is called? Is that a foot? Didn't know snails had feet. The bottom of my foot begins to secrete more slime when I read it. Yay! She did it! Dear Ms. Escargo, we are delighted to inform you about your acceptance into Marvard. You are one of the few applicants who has met our stringent requirements and is welcome into our family. We were highly impressed by the clarity of your admission letter and your findings in snail biology, which you presented during our online test. Your level of thought shows great creativity and ingenuity. Your GPA exam results and letter qualifies you for the Darwin Academy Award, a coveted scholarship sought by many. To complete your enrollment, please submit the required documents to the admission office. More instructions and the office's address is on a separate slip of paper provided to you with this letter. Sincerely, Dr. Estery Livery, Livery? Livery, head of the bioscience department at Marvard. My fingers are shaking as I fold the letter and put it back in the envelope. I don't believe this. Slime! <laughs> I got in! Got in where? Into Marvard, you stupid bitch! We were just talking about this. I'm going to join the humans! Oh, salt on a stick. I wasn't supposed to say that, but in my excitement, I let that information slip. She's not supposed to know, considering how close to Dr. Schneil she is. I hope Clarice doesn't think much of what I said. I mean, if I actually could, I would. I bite my lower lip, finding it harder to look at Clarice and acting as if she might scoop me out of my shell. Huh? Did you accidentally swallow some soap? Of course you can't join the humans, you're a snail. You wouldn't understand. What I really don't understand is why anybody would want to be human. Haven't you listened to what my father has been saying? There's nothing better than living in Shelltown. Don't you want to be a snail, Giselle? I hate it. I can't wait to leave this wretched place. This acceptance letter is the reason I need to get out of here. I just need to make the necessary arrangements. No, I don't. I, for one, wouldn't want to leave this town. Yeah, cause your daddy's got it under his foot. Everybody here listens to me. Good for her then, but I didn't ask for her opinion. You didn't get made fun of in school for having an ugly shell. Why would I have been made fun of? I'm beautiful. She's pretty, but that's about the only redeeming quality she has. Inside, she's uglier than a week old tomato in a compost heap. That was very specific. Clarice was the worst of my bullies. Thinking about what she did to me gives me nightmares. So, have you ever given any consideration to how you might fix your problem? That's why she's here. Which one? Um, you're a snail. You have snail parts, not human ones. We're not supposed to leave Shelltown. We're surrounded by the ocean and we're not allowed to board the boats. If my father finds out you're leaving, he'll throw you into the salt waters and you'll melt. I have a solution, but I'm not going to tell it to her. There's only one option for me now. Whoa! Shell to leg transplantation surgery. That's... That's a lot. Are we getting some parallels on, like, gender-affirming surgeries here? 
Is this, um, is this something that's, like, part of the discussion? Game devs, tell me. Tell me all the details. I would love to hear it. Whew! Remember to polish your shell. Okay! That's a lot. I think we're gonna end it here for part one. Let me know how you liked this. Have you played the demo? Have you heard of this game? Or is it new to you like it is to me? Um, I do believe the Kickstarter has ended. Was it funded? I'll have to double check. Editing Martha will put a thing and let you know. But I'd like to thank you for watching. I had a great time. I'm excited to be playing games again. Uh, just letting you know, streaming will resume in the new year. December is a busy, busy month for me. I have a lot of events going on, and um, I'm just going to wait and start streaming once the new year begins. Speaking of events, if you would like to come see me in action, I am also putting on the Texas Idol Festival at IkiCon New Year's Weekend. The festival itself is on Saturday, January 1st at 1 o'clock p.m. in main events. So if you're going to IkiCon... Come check out the festival. I'll be hosting and I am a part of the opening act. And I would love to see you there. Keep in mind, my social media links are in the description box below. So if you want more timely reminders of events and performances and things that are happening, check me out there. I would also like to give a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. Y'all are the shit. Thank you so much for making videos like this possible. And if you would like to join their number and get some extra gravy with your content, go ahead and hit the link in the description box as well. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.